Before proceeding with the following demonstration, we need to modify our application slightly. Can you remember about attribute weighted from our course for beginners? As we want to sell computers and computer parts, we do not need this attribute anymore. Also, we can offer services like building or repairing computers. To append the list of goods with our services, we can use a new enumeration. Let us name it product type. It can include not only services, but built PCs, processors, video cards, and similar. We can fit everything in one value that is service. Here we add attribute additional info to our catalog products. And here comes the magic. As we click option composite data type, we can choose more than a single data type for our attribute. Now let's switch to 1C Enterprise mode and look at the result. On opening an item form in catalog products, users can select the data type that they need. In case it is a service, we select product type and then service. In the case of products, we can type in some additional product related information right within the line. It's exactly how composite data types for attributes work in any configuration object. Now, let us give some attention to branding. For this purpose, we create catalog brands and make it subordinate to catalog products. This way, any product we sell gets a brand name. But why do we need to create catalog brands? Well, it's simple. In Designer, it is possible to assign several catalog owners in addition to the catalog itself. Thus, when creating an item in catalog products, we should select an owner catalog and then select an item in the owner catalog to own this particular product. Basically, it's similar to the composite data type for attribute owner. As we do not need it for now, a single catalog brands is totally enough. Fill in catalog brands and check what happens when you try to add a new product. First of all, when creating a new product, we must specify an owner. With the owner specified, the platform links these two objects, product and owner, with a reference. This connection is called referential integrity. Its role is to prevent or eliminate discrepancies between linked objects within a database. Thus, should we decide to remove data object AMD from catalog brands, the platform automatically removes subordinate item superprocessor to retain data integrity. You can see even more if you try to remove linked enumeration in Designer or remove some contractor linked to a document. As you can see, the removal of contractor pen ink in document sales linked to it results in an error. This line is nothing else but a reference to the data object that does not exist anymore, while the reference itself is still there. This is how referential integrity works. The referential integrity rules apply to all objects with a reference. There is just one more thing that we need to do. Open the document and select a new contractor. One question, what should happen if we change this contractor's name in catalog contractors? What happens to the document? Well, let us check that. As we open the document, we can see that the name has changed without our assistance. The explanation is that when someone creates such data objects as documents or catalog items, the platform assigns references to them. To some extent, it is like a human's DNA. A person can change their hairstyle, their clothes, and, and look in general, but the person's DNA stays unaffected. And that is what makes a data object with reference different from a simple record. 